first of all, uh, welcome back. <laughs> um, it's good to see you again. Um, I wanted to, uh, I was hoping we could start by, um, by talking about, uh, about writing. Um, because, uh, yeah, I mean, in a, in a, in a film which um, feels like less concerned with this kind of like a propulsive, like linear kind of narrative, and it's more about spending time and and um, being in a place with people and, and observing and so on. It makes me curious to know um, sort of what your script uh, looks like. Um, it struck me that it might more closely resemble like a, a map or a diagram than than like a than just con a conventional script. Um, and then additionally, and sorry, this, this is the last thing. Um, uh, just last time you were here, I, I think especially in re in regards to your writing, you talked about musical theory, the influence of sort of musical theory and uh, and Bach uh, and like ideas of contrapuntal elements and I was wondering if that entered into if that was um, the case here as well and 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 sort of whether uh, yeah whether music theory was on your mind again so this is a no あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
があるんですけどあれはそのジョンノさんのメンバーの一部の人たちが演奏しているシーンでしてで、まあ、なぜああいうシーンをこう最初に出したかっていうとあの、まあ、その音楽自体が何て言うんだろう街の中にこう住んでいる一人のまあ人物のような形であの映画の中でこう存在できないかなというふうに思っていてで、まあ、あの本当に街の中で演奏練習をしているバンドたちがそのなんていうか街の中で今も鳴らしている音がこう主人公たちとはまあ別の時間軸としてこう一緒にでも一緒に映画としてこう伴奏していくみたいな。こうイメージで作りました。Um, so the the music for the film is made by a Japanese band named John No Sun, John no, John No Sun,、um, and the members of this band actually、uh, appear in that first scene in the the park where they're kind of like playing music and rehearsing.、Um, and I really wanted music to be like a character in the film, and so. Including that scene where the members of the band are practicing is a way to have their music kind of exist on a different timeline while it also is the backdrop to the lives of these women. Yeah, and, and, and now I want to ask about, about、uh, the three women、um, uh, you know, at, the, at the center of the film, kind of uh, uh, function as like our, our guides、uh, through, through, through this place. And, and,、um, and so I was wondering, yeah, could you, could you tell us a bit about,、um, about how the casting、uh, proceeded? And then,、um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about how you worked on set、uh, with, the, with the three actresses.、Um, uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. 3人の,あのキャスティングについてなんですけどもともといろいろな映画でこう見て気になっていた3人の方たちに今回お願いしたんですけど、まあ、なぜまあ彼女たちをこうえ選んだというかこう一緒に作ろうと思ったかというとあのまあ私の映画でまあすごく大事にしていることとしてそのまあやっぱり俳優とそのまあ監督がまあな,るなるべくこうまあ対等な関係でいられるような。映画作りをしたいなと思っていて、まあ、そういうその対等な関係で対話ができるようなあの俳優さんたちとまあ一緒に仕事ができればということをまあ思っていて、まあ、あとはそ,のそういう対話ができるような環境づくりみたいなこともすごく意識していてで、まあ、本当にあの彼女たち3人はすごくそのあの一緒に話しながら作ってくれるもうあの私がそのなんていうか指示を出して。こうしてくださいっていうようなあの<咳>関係性というよりはどちらかというとその私自身もやっぱり迷うことがあったりするときに、まあ、あの相談に乗ってもらったりとか逆にあの、まあ、一緒に考えて作っていくっていうようなことが本当にできる3人とあの作り上げたと思ってます。So, first about、um, casting the three actors.、Um, all three of them were people that I had seen in Previous films and wanted to work with them. And for me, it's really important in my films that the actor and myself, the director, were kind of an equal standing.、Um, and so I wanted to cast actors that I felt like we could kind of foster that kind of relationship and also、um, create an environment where we are equals.、Um, Uh, I made the film while almost having conversations with these women. It wasn't as if I was the director telling them to do things. It was more like unfolding as we, we had conversations. And moments when I was unsure or confused, sometimes I would ask、um, the actors for their advice. And maybe I'll, I'll ask one more question, then we can see, we can hear from the audience.、Um, I wanted to、um, get back for a moment to, to Tama Newtown.、Um, uh, and I, I was reading,、uh, I, I guess it must have been your,、uh, your director's statement from the Berlin Aula, where you were talking about、um, some of the qualities of Tama Newtown that kind of attracted you in the first place. And、um, part of it, or it seemed like you were saying part of it was this kind of this feeling of sort of uniformity to, of the environment and it, that it kind of reminded you of like a movie set. And so I was hoping if you could kind of.、Uh, Tell us a little, a little bit more, sort of about about、um, about how you kind of saw, like maybe even once you were shooting the film, sort of um, uh, uh, 
what occurred to you about this this kind of environment and 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 sort of uh, yeah yeah I've said too much. タマニュータウンはえっと元々あの私があの幼い頃に住んでいた場所で,でま,あまずすごくなんか個人的なこう思い入れだったりとかノスタルジーを感じる場所だったんですねでまあいつかその映画に撮りたいなと思ってこうまあ大人になってあの再び訪れてみた時にまああのタマニュータウンの景色ってその本当に人工的にあのなんて計画された都市なのですごく整っていて。まあ、あの映画の中にも出てくるように同じこう景色がこう繰り返されていて本当に団地があって公園があって団地があって公園があってみたいな景色がこう永遠に続いていくような場所なんですけどなんかそ,あのそういう景色がまあ美しいなって思う,思う,こう一方であのまあ建てられてこう50年ぐらい経った今そのまあえっとなんていうかこう。その美しい整然とした中にその時の流れというか、まあ、痕跡時間の痕跡みたいなものがすごく現れているようになってなんかその人のまあ何ていうかすごく整然とした景色の中になんかこう人のなんかぬくもりというか,なんか人の痕生きてきた痕跡みたいなものが残っているなっていうことに気づいたんですね。So actually, Tama New Town is a place that I lived、um, at when I was very young, and so it's a very nostalgic place for me. And so to revisit it as an adult, it was interesting to notice you know, how man made, it's a very man made、um, complex, it's very planned out, and so there's a orderly quality and、um, very repetitive. Uh, place. So it'll be like a park and then a housing complex and then another park and another housing complex and on and on. And so, on the one hand, it's very orderly and beautiful, but going back, now that it's a place that's existed for about 50 years, I notice that there are、um, a lot of signs of wear and signs of time passing. And so, it's as if like this very uniform place now has this,、um, these like signs of presence of people or just kind of like the Yeah, just the presence of people. そういうその、まあ、人の痕跡みたいなものとか時間の積み重なったものがこう、まあ、思い出みたいなものが直接こう街に現れている感じがして、まあ、まずそのことをあの、まあ、映画として表現したいなっていうことを思,思いました。Um, so, along with this evidence of, of people just existing and living their lives there, I also felt like the town itself reflected the memories、um, of the people that lived there. And so, I felt really strongly that I wanted to make a film there. The scene I noticed. あの撮影中にあのスタッフの人があの自転車を移動させなきゃいけないっていうのであのまあ車で移動している人たちとは別にこう帰ってきた時があったんですけどもういつまでたっても帰ってこない時があってそれなんで帰ってこなかったんだと思ったらずっと道に迷ってたっていうふうに<笑>言っていてあの Google マップとかでね見ればそんなに迷わないはずなのにその上のこう道人が通る道と車が通る道が分かれてるんですけどその人がマップ上だとその上下が分からないからそこがこう分かんなくてずっとこうぐるぐるぐるぐる同じところを回っていてたどり着けなかったみたいなことを言っていて何かその迷宮的なこう要素が街にすごくあるなっていうことに気づいて、まあ、映画自体もまあそういう映画になってると思うんですけどそれは発見でしたね。
As for new things I discovered now that I've made the film um, and returned to Tama Newtown, um, the, the area just has a lot of hills. Actually, when they were building this development, they wanted to preserve some of the mountainous aspects of the landscape, and so it just has a lot of ups and downs. I mean, it's very easy to get lost there. Um, while we were filming, uh, one of the staff was uh, tasked with moving some of the bicycles, um, and so we were moving in a car, and no matter how long you know the time passed, the staff member that moved the bicycle never returned. Um, and it, it turns out he just got completely lost. And so one would think that if you just use Google Maps, you'd be able to find your way. But the way that the town is constructed, the walkways for people, and then the streets where the cars pass are on different levels. Um, and so when you're on your phone and looking at a map, you can't really tell the difference with the level, levels. Um, and so there's this very like labyrinthine um, you know, vibe to this town, which I think might even be reflected in the film itself. Yeah, I would say so. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, I think since it's late, let's take some, some audience questions. If you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll bring you a microphone. We'll start right here. Thank you for making such a uh, touching film. Uh, the question that I have is that so much of the film is set during the day. So why did you decide to title it Remembering the Night? Thank you. えっと、ま、この作品は1日の流れ流れというか1日を描いてる作品だと思うんですけど、あの、ま、その1日が終わって最後こう夜になって、ま、夜っていうのこう、ま、私のイメージですけど、こう1人でま、過ごす時間みた
people seem to be searching for something, like the, the woman that's searching for a job and the, the, the woman that's searching for the elderly man who's lost. So it, it seems to have that element of characters with some common problem. なるほどあのちょっとその映画を見てないと思うんですけど見てみます<笑> I see I don't think I've seen that film but I'll definitely check it out、uh, It's a really beautiful film and my question is regarding your some of the visual languages you use I noticed that a lot of time we're seeing a closer look of the characters first like if they're having a dialogue We see a medium shot, a medium close up shot of them, and then we cut to a wider shot, which is sort of interesting because usually you establish a scene and then you go into the character.、Uh, I'm just curious why you made that selection. We see they're having a dialogue first and then cut to a wider shot because I think that gives me a really interesting sense of the space they're in.、Um, I'm just curious about your thinking process. So, this is a まずそのキャラクターの主観的な世界っていうものがあるそのまあ個人の主観っていうものがまあこの世界にたくさんあるっていうことをまあこの映画では表したいなっていうふうに思っていてでなのでまああのその人のまあ結構その感情に寄り,添う寄り添うというかまあそうですね寄り添うようなショットから入ってでまあワイドに引く時っていうのはまあ、大体これはその事前に絶対こうしようと思って決めてたわけじゃないんですけどあの後々になってこう自分でも考えるとあの何かこう主人公たちの感情が動いた時にあのワイドになるなっていうふうに私自身も気づいてであのそうですねなので何かこう本当に。なんて言うんでしょうね、周りの世界に対して彼女たちがこうどういうふうに反応し,しているかというか、まあ、そういうことをカメラでこう表したかったっていうのがあ,あるなと思います。It was important for me to center the subjectivities of each of these women、um, and also all the subjective views that exist in the world. And so, to start with more of a close up shot, I thought it gave the feeling of being near their experience, being closer to their experience. And then, this isn't something that I planned out,、uh, it's just something that I've realized after watching the film and finishing the film.、Um, it seems as though we switch to a wide shot as the feeling. Or the emotions of each character kind of also shift.、Um, and I wanted to kind of show how the, each of the women respond to their surroundings. And、uh, just, to, just to conclude, I wanted to ask one more,、uh, one more question that's related、uh, to the previous question,、um, uh, which is about your, your collaboration with your, with your cinematographer.、Um, Uh, the film, you know, this film makes very,、uh, I think, striking use of, of like the long take. Um, uh, but, um, but it also, it's like the, I think in this film, even more so than in our house, the, 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 the presence of the camera is quite conspicuous, you know? It, it, it seems as if you want、um, the spectator to notice the camera and what it's doing and, and, and when it's deciding to look at one thing versus another. So,、um, I was hoping, yeah, could you tell us a little bit about how you work with your cinematographer? And, and it seems relevant to note that、um, you know, this is a, your cinematographer is the same、uh, director of photography who also shot uh, uh, Ryusuke Hamaguchi's Wheel of Fortune Fantasy, with, which I think maybe this film in some ways shares some kind of、uh, formal ambitions at least. えっと、カメラマンの,あの飯岡由紀子さんという方なんですけどはあのすごくあの自分自身の視点を持ってその撮影現場を見ているような方で,でカメラにもすごくそれが現れているなというふうに思いますで私とその飯岡さん,飯岡さんの,のコラボレーションというか、まあ、どういうふうなやり取りがあったかっていうことで言うとまあ、本当にあの基本的に飯岡さんの目でその今目の前で起きていることをあの見てほしいっていうふうにまあ思っていて
でそうですねだからまず飯岡さん、まあ、あのカット割りをどうするかっていうことはもちろんあの相談しながら決めはするんですけど飯岡さんがどういうふうに見てるかっていうことを、まあ、私がまず見て聞話を聞いてで、まあ、それで。まあ、行ける時はそのアイディアで行くし、まあ、もう少し考える必要がある時は相談しながらまたもう一回考え直すというようなやり方だったかなと思います。So, the cinematographer's name is Yukiko Ioka,、um, and she's someone who has like, a really strong perspective and really brings that to set, and I think that's really reflected in how、um, she shoots.、Um, as far as how we collaborated, I wanted for her to see, through, see each scene through her eyes and kind of tell me what she sees. And so, of course, we had conversations about how each scene would be cut before we shot, but、um, first and foremost, I just wanted to see how she would see the environment or the scene. And then we would kind of talk about it. Most of the time it was fine with you know, what she、um, had decided on, but then sometimes we would just have a conversation and hash it out. Hamaguchi さんの作品ではまあちょっとどういうふうなやり方をしてたかわからないですけど、まあ、今回の作品においてはその飯岡さんの目がすごく重要だったなと思っていて、まあ、飯岡さんによって本当に私自身も見えてなかったものがいつもこう。新しく発見されるっていうようなことがたくさんあってで、まあ、スタッフのみんなもその井岡さんが切り取る世界を見てすごくあの驚いているというかもうすごいってなってこう井岡会津にが自分も欲しいみたいなことを<笑>言ったりしていました。I, I don't know how,、um, she, Hamaguchi and her collaborated, but,、um, Even just watching today, the film, re watching it today, I really noticed that she has just incredible、um, perspective on things. And、uh, even watching today, I noticed that there are so many new discoveries that I can make through just seeing how she cuts out each you know, scene or each、um, piece of the world.、Um, and as we were filming, our staff, my staff as well, were just. Um, so, in awe of her work, and there were many、um, people saying that they wish they had Ioka's eyes to look through. And yeah, it's late, so we'll, we'll leave it there for now. But,、uh, but Kier Harsan, thank you very much for this, for this beautiful film. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank, thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much.